This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Leaked John Kerry audio reveals Obama ordered rise of ISIS. By Sean Adeltabatabai. A leaked John Kerry audio recording reveals that President Obama requested his administration to facilitate in allowing ISIS to rise to power. On September 30, 2016, The New York Times very quietly released a leaked audio recording of Secretary John Kerry discussing the White House's strategy when it came to Syria and ISIS. TheConservativeTreehouse.com reports. When you listen to the audio recording, embed below, it becomes immediately obvious what was going on when both of those 2014 statements were made by the White House. In addition, you discover why this jaw-dropping 2016 leak story was buried by the U.S. media and how it connects to over five years of perplexing U.S. Mideast policy. This evidence within this single story would, should forever remove any credibility toward the U.S. foreign policy under President Obama. It also destroys the credibility of a large number of well-known Republicans. What the recording reveals is substantive. First, only regime change, the removal of Bashir Assad in Syria was the goal for President Obama. This is admitted and outlined by Secretary John Kerry. Secondly, in order to accomplish this primary goal, the White House was willing to watch the rise of ISIS by placing their bet that ISIS's success would force Syrian President Bashir Assad to acquiesce toward Obama's terms and step down. Thirdly, in order to facilitate the two objectives, Obama and Kerry intentionally gave arms to ISIS and even, arguably, attacked a Syrian government military convoy to stop a strategic attack upon the Islamic extremists killing 80 Syrian soldiers. Pause for a moment and consider those three points carefully before continuing. Because this audio, below, along with accompanying research now surfacing, not only exposes these three points as truth, but also provides the specific evidence toward them. The problem in the obama slash Kerry's secret strategy became clear when ISIS grew in sufficient strength to give the White House optimism for the scheme, however, instead of capitulation Assad then turned to Russia for help. When Russia came to aid Bashir Assad the Syrian government began being able to defeat ISIS and the Islamic extremist elements within Syria. For the hidden plan of Obama, Kerry, and also McCain, Graham, et al. Russia defeating ISIS, Al-Qaeda and Al-Nusra, appended their objective. The revelations within this leaked audio are simply astounding. The 40-minute discussion took place on the sidelines of a United Nations General Assembly in New York. The meeting took place at the Dutch Mission to the United Nations on September 22, 2016. Kerry's off-record conversation was apparently with two dozen Syrian civilians all from U.S.-backed opposition-linked NGOs and education and medical groups supposedly working in rebel-held, a.k.a. terrorist-held, areas in Syria. This opposition conclave also included rescue workers which can only be ambassadors from the White Helmets, a pseudo-NGO which serves as Washington and London's primary PR front in pursuit of a no-fly zone in Syria, and it's being bankrolled by the U.S., U.K. EU and other coalition states to the tune of well over $100 million, so far. Listen to the audio. Key carry moments at 2 o'clock, and again at approximately 18.30 forward. The discussion from 18.30 through to 29 hours 0 minutes are exceptionally revealing and should be listened to by anyone who has wondered what was going on in Syria. Kerry even makes mention of the responsibility to protect, or R2P principle. The video link of the audio is in the article below in our description. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.